Today, PDAC 2024, I've got George Glazier from Western Uranium and Vanadium, a company I've been following for years. Uranium's finally getting the attention it deserves, and you're at the, the front, the front of the parade. How does it feel? Oh, it's great. You know, with uranium prices, finally, you know, I think we're in a sustained recovery for uranium, and so we're ready. Obviously, we've been planning on this for some years, but I think now's the time. Sunday Mine, I always love the name. Close to production? Absolutely, absolutely. We've got crews in there seven days a week, uh, working all around the clock, basically, to get it ready for full production, which will be ready to go in 25. We're doing mine development now. We could produce ore right now, but obviously there's no place to put it. But Energy Fuels just recently announced they'll probably have a buying schedule out early this year. So that might be the ideal place to put the first production from the Sunday mine, starting in, say, 25. I know this looks easy to a lot of people. I've got every investment banker that was involved in uh, cannabis, crypto, <laughs> lithium, and now they're all racing into uranium and they have no idea what you've been through in the last decade. That's exactly right. You know, the companies that have survived or are still here are gonna prosper from it. And we're one of those companies, but there's other good uranium companies, obviously. We've all been waning and I think the time is here. So, uh, I was talking to Christopher Ecclestone in London, and he says to me that the uranium market is just beginning. It's just, do you agree? Absolutely, you know, we finally have the, the deficiency in supply is clearly here, you know. The demand is still going up, but the supply is not. And so you've got to do something to get that supply up, and it means higher prices. It takes a long time to bring mines on, costs a lot of money. And that's why it's here to stay, because unless the demand went away, which we don't see that, the supply is not adequate to, to is supply the, the demand. And of course, your Western uranium and vanadium, another critical mineral. Would you like to give us an update? Sure, the vanadium is another co-product with our mining. Uh, obviously, the price of vanadium is off a bit now, but we think that's gonna recover because both the use of steel as well as the new use for redox batteries. So vanadium is, is certainly a little bit depressed now, but we think within a couple of years, vanadium will come back and be a co-product along with our uranium production. And for all of you out there that were lucky enough to be shareholders of Western and uranium and vanadium, uh, what should we anticipate in the upcoming quarter? Well, obviously, continuing our activities at the Sunday Mine, uh, having more marketing. We're going to you know, be out there with press releases uh, announcing what we're doing. So I think you'll see that in the next quarter or certainly in the next six months. So, George, for the first time in at least a decade, everyone must be throwing money at you. Is there any temptation to raise some of that capital and do some acquisitions since your team that you built is such an amazing group of uranium experts? Yeah, ab absolutely. You know, we've never seen the market where the money is available like this. And we've been raising money for years and it's been relatively hard. And now everybody's throwing money. So we're looking at the opportunities, absolutely, uh, to expand our resource base, acquire uh, either for cash or shares. But I think this is the time for, for companies to move on this. Uh, capital is available and we do have the team to do it. Well, for everybody out there interested in finding out more about Western Uranium and Vanadium, this is a very good website, just full of information. Please go to their website. And uh, thank you, George. As always, it's a pleasure. Thank you, Tracy.